gonna draw you, I just forgot almost, I'm gonna draw you a manta ray in a coral reef. Abigail and Alex asked for me to, for, well, for me to draw it. Can't speak today. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do a manta ray with a coral reef. You need pencil, paper, let's go. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna do, touch the top of the paper here, and you wanna do a line like that. So think swirly line. And then what you wanna do is touch that bit there, and you wanna go whew. So it's almost like a horn. And then when you get to here, it reminds me of a slug for some reason, a mantra, I don't know why. But then you go up, then you go whew. So if you can't do that, remember it's whew. And then a horn. And then you go back to this, that way. Now we're gonna do, this becomes like a little horn thing. It's the almost the, the, the head bit. Then here we're gonna go like that. He's got a little eye, I think it's the eye, and then a line there. So all this, he's got a little mouth there that goes raw. So if that's super hard, because I don't want you to find this too hard, you want the horn, that was that line and a horn, and then you've got this little mouth there with an eye line. Next bit's super easy, so I'll just do it slowly. Touch this bit here, and you're gonna go, then touch this bit again, and just join it up to there. Now this bit, just here, you're gonna continue drawing, so you're gonna go like this. As you get to here, you do that, and then a W, and then So if this is like super hard, just go back to the beginning and follow the steps slowly. You're gonna rub out this little bit here. Man, I've rubbed too much out of it, <laughs> too much out. So, put that line back in there, there we are. Right, he's got quite a nice chunky body, so just line there. And you wanna make this like, you wanna make this look like it's got form to it. So just here and here, it's like a line of chunkiness. And then he's got, you know that, it's a stingray, ultimately, like a manta ray. Stingray, it's like a, so it's got, it is a stingray, you've got this stinger, so you could just do that. As I say, if this is super hard, because we didn't do it from shapes today, if it's super hard, go back to the beginning and just slowly draw it. If you still find it difficult, let me know and I will maybe do one with shapes, but I thought this might be quite nice for you to try just because it's step by step with lines. If it's not looking like this, rub some of it out and just change it as you go along. Right, we're gonna do it in a coral reef now. So what I thought, a coral reef's quite a lot to draw. So I'm gonna start off with like bottom and then work my way up to the top. So here, I'm literally gonna do like, looks like twigs or Rudolph reindeer's antlers. So just think, Rudolph, antlers. Another antler, like that. Then here, do a little line, but then this could literally be a little plant. Here, we're gonna do some nice wreaths, seaweed. It's not necessarily coral, this. And then here, I want to do this really cool thing that looks like this. It's like a circle. Then you're gonna go, just do that. Reminds me of a rose. And then it's wobbly lines. Kind of like a little shell thing. Then you want to do this awesome thing that does this. It's like a triangle, so draw two big triangles, like that. And you're gonna go, they look like one with mushrooms. I have a feeling I'm doing this a bit too quick, so let me know if I am. Just say stop, and then I'll be like, okay, I can hear you. Here is a lot of coral. Coral basically is gorgeous things that are in the coral reef. And um, I'm just gonna do that wobbly line. They go hard when you take them out of the water, you're not supposed to. There's a few bits that I've seen. Um, 
and shops that are hard, but they're beautiful things that live in the sea. So they're like splats that I'm doing. <laughs> and then I'm doing this weird one there with some lines. So coral reefs all about shapes and colours ultimately. So as long as you've got the shapes in there, the colours come after. So here I'm just going to do a wobbly kind of green grass. These things are really cool. They're circles. Just do circles like this. Flat circles. And then these are a different type of coral. They're long. They look a little bit like cucumbers. But they're like long corals. Just do it like that. would be cool. They sometimes have lines going down. Or you can do that. It's up to you. And then here, I'm just going to do another splodge. If you want to, to make it look kind of cool. I think inventing different ones are great because if you think about coral it's loads of wobbly shapes and loads of colours but I quite like just doing splodges it just looks like you're under the water it looks kind of cool so I'm going to colour it in now now I'm wrapping my little my manta ray <laughs> can't speak today I'm going to do my manta ray kind of purple um where's my picture gone oh, I can't find it now so the manta rays um underneath is pretty much white but quite a lot of it's dark so I'm just going to outline I want to keep most of him light if you keep the stomach white like that it looks really cool the top of it's going to be a darker colour so I used just now like a purpley colour but I might do a dark blue for the dark bits so here I'm just outlining with the chalk. You don't have to use chalk. You could use anything. And I might actually outline it. Because I love to outline things. Whoa. Okay, so that's darker. Okay, and then you just go around. You can smudge a little bit in. I'm just, I absolutely love chalk pastel because you can sort of make things look like it's got shape to it and stuff. So that's roughly my manta ray. I think I'm quite happy with that, if I'm honest. So you could try and colour it in a bit like that. I think as long as you keep that bit white, the body, like the underneath tummy, then that would look really cool. With your coral, if you have chalk pastels, like look how many I've got. If you have them, you want bright colours. So just think almost like an ice cream. So I'm going to do like really super bizarre colours. Like I'm going to, that's going to be yellow. So whatever you colour, you're going to outline. So with the yellow, I'm going to then go around the lines with the red. And then this could be red. And I'm going to go around the outline of it with a darker red. So if you outline with a darker colour, it looks really awesome. I quite like if you're using chalk to just draw around the outline and then smudge. Because coral is quite delicate, it just looks very nice. But for the sake of this video, I don't want to take too long to do it for you. So I'm just literally colouring in. And I'm taking a darker colour out of each one. So this is green. And then I take a darker green. And then I smudge a bit. So the secret to this is bright colours. Corals are absolutely amazing to look at. I don't think I've ever actually seen... I went to Egypt and saw a few corals, but it wasn't really anything like the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. So just think, bright colours, bright happy colours is what you're going for. So just anything, anything that looks like, ooh. This one is awesome because it looks like an ice cream. I don't know if you just heard that, but I've just dropped another pastel. Because it's super easy to drop them all, isn't it? 
Okay, what other colours, guys? Oh, purple. Got no purple. So make it varied, which means different colours. Don't just do one, because it will be a shame otherwise. I would say more blue would be in there. You could do some turquoise. Greens would be good. You could literally go on forever. Do some green there. Can you see how it looks exciting, the picture, doesn't it? More exciting than if it was just one colour of the coral. I'm just going to smudge just a little bit to show that there's more coral in the background. You see? Okay, and then yellow, just splodges. You don't have to do yellow, obviously. You could do any colour. I quite like yellow because it makes things stand out. There's some yellow there. Yellow literally makes everything awesome. Okay, there we go, guys. So, Abigail and Alex and everyone who's drawn this, let me know how you got on. Obviously, you could be a lot more delicate. If you've got hours, you could turn this into a special plant that no one knows. You know, it could be your own coral plant. They're all about different shapes, different colours. So you could be a lot more detailed than what I've done. But mine's just a quick idea. What I'd quite like to do as well, if I have chalk, if you've got chalk, I'd quite like to just go really lightly over the top. And just kind of smudge a bit because then it looks like he's under the sea you know quite like that effect so just have some fun have a play with um, the paint and with chalk pastels just see what you can come up with because it's really fun just to try it all out and uh, let me know how you get on like subscribe and share and I will see you tomorrow from lots of love